Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a story of a man who did this when he found out his wife has been cheating on him with her boss. Here is the full story with two updates. Long story short, don't ever marry a trust fund baby. I genuinely love this woman with my whole heart, been on her for about 15 years and been taking her for the last 4 to 5. She comes from a very wealthy family, multiple private jets and own resorts all over the world, rich. To start off, she's never worked a day in her life, besides stupid, barely part-time jobs at boutique clothing stores, 5 to 10 hours a week, maybe, then quit because she truly believes she doesn't have to. My background is a little different. Our family lives in the same neighborhood but has grown up in totally different lives. Her father and mother had a habitual habit of cheating on one another and vice versa. I was raised by two loving parents that would do anything to make their marriage work for my brother and me. Recently got married, just had this insanely extravagant destination wedding. I'm talking her father spending $300,000 to $350,000 insane. After the wedding, her checkbox was finally completed. All she ever talked about was her father walking her down the aisle before he goes, heavy alcoholic. I've always had my own business at the time and definitely acted like I had way more money than I actually did. About two years ago, I lost my business with COVID, etc. Then I randomly came across a career I became in love with. After getting seat time with a few companies, I adventured on my own. I worked 10 to 16 hours every single day, 7 days a week, doing something I actually loved and enjoyed and hopefully will continue to enjoy. Looking back, I feel like I became a workaholic because I knew my girl had a very expensive taste, and I just wanted to be able to provide and buy us a home and start a family. Well, her father ended up getting her a job at the hangar that stored their private jets as a flight attendant. We both know she would end up effing her boss, the pilot that managed the father's planes and a few other rich customers' jets. We've only been married for six months. I just found out she's been cheating on me for the past five. I found out because someone had messaged me on a text now number, fake generated number, saying my wife was a cheater and she's effing the family friend pilot. Confronted her in person, got the runaround, and was told I was crazy. I got another text, and I had a weird feeling. I chimed into the ring camera, listened for about 5 to 10 minutes, and everything was officially confirmed. It was a Tuesday while I was working this week. I completely lost it, confronted her, she still was denying everything, and finally today, I'm trying to slowly accept it. I moved out of the house when she wasn't there, packed everything, threw most of it in a storage unit, and I've been living hotel to hotel out of storage containers and garbage bags of clothes. It's been really effing difficult. Let me tell you, a big fancy hotel room with a storage container and garbage bag of clothes is nothing short of depressing. Today I closed on a home, just a rental, that I fell in love with. It's crazy because the random number that texted me was one of her old best friends that apparently told her husband. And he reached out to me on a random number. My ex is trying to make this girl's life a living hell. Just kind of funny how the blame gets put onto someone looking out. What's even crazier is that this late 40-something year old pilot and my ex-wife, who is only 28, think they're going to be getting married. Like what the F, it's just been the week of my life, let me tell you. Paid divorce attorney on Tuesday. I'm not trying to be spiteful or malicious. She's going to sign everything. I just want to leave it clean. We don't have any children or financial obligations to each other. I just needed to vent before I did something stupid. So I found out about my ex-wife's affair on December 5th. We got married on July 14th, and for the past five months, she's been cheating on me with her boss. I just started my own business, so I was working 80 to 100 hours weekly since the marriage. The day I found out, a random number had texted me, saying my wife is a cheater. I confronted her, she lied to my face, and got another text raising suspicion. So I tuned into our indoor security system. No video, just audio, and the random message was, in fact, true. I overheard her having a convo with her AP, makes me sick to my stomach. Once this information was verified, I left work, went straight home, packed up everything I could fit in garbage bags, and moved out. Stayed in hotels for a couple of nights then secured a two-year rental home. For some reason, I was going through my emotions, and I texted her thank you out of nowhere. My reasoning was that I wanted to be vague to pretty much convey that everything in my life is working out for the better. This was her response. Thoughts? Me? Thank you. Ex-wife? Thank you for doing this so you can start your life. Trust me, I know everybody's seen it. It took me doing something like this for you to want to be what I've been wanting you to effing be for the past few years. Literally everything that you're doing I've asked you to do for years, but you never ever acknowledged me. 
You never listen to me. Nothing. You can sit here and call me names and point me out to be this horrible person. But you know what I'm sick and tired of feeling like that. You effing pushed me to a point you drove me nuts. You didn't respect me. You didn't give me the time of the effing day to even have a conversation with you. I could go on and on and on, but I'm not going to. I'm trying to sleep. You're always messaging me late as f why I don't effing know. Never responding. Never answering the phone. I'm effing over it. The first few weeks, I was devastated. This girl I've been in a relationship with for 5 plus years and married to for only 6 months stepped outside of our marriage because I've been working my crap off to create a future for us. My business has been going very well, and I've been continuously saving up quite a bit. Within the last few weeks, I've acquired my dream house that is triple our old rent, bought a brand new truck and a brand new motorcycle, figured equivalent cost to therapy, and just trying to stay busy as possible to keep my mind occupied from going into straight depression. It's been the most hectic experience of my life. I guess it hurts the most just being lied to every single day. It hurts to think about. The first few weeks, I wanted to feel the pain. I quit drinking, quit smoking, and started working out two times a day while working 14 to 16 hours days. I've been blaming myself in every possible scenario. Just this week I started seeing light at the end of the tunnel. Honestly, thank you guys for the positive affirmation. This whole situation is so beyond messed up. What's even worse is that all her so-called friends agree with her decision on why she stepped out to begin with. Because I was never there. We were looking at homes together, and just the down payments were over 200k, so that's what I was working towards. It's crazy because her AP is twice her age with a full family and multiple children, and in her head, she thought she would go live happily ever after with him. Both of them were not ready for me to find out unexpectedly. I didn't even talk to her when I moved out because I thought there was no reason to after knowing the truth. I love this girl with every bone in my body, and it cripples me to think about. Edit, you're doing great bro. How's the divorce process? Is it divorce or annulment? So to specify, I'm in the process of the divorce. Paid the attorney to dissolve the marriage, family recommend. Honestly, it looks like I could have done the paperwork myself. And to be clear, all this materialistic stuff or just impulsive purchases, it's all things I wanted but at the end of the day. It's not what I really want if that makes sense. Does AP's family know? Yeah, I told AP's wife, pretty sure X and AP broke things off. Edit 2, appreciate the kind words everyone. After work, I'm usually so drained physically and mentally I just want to chill, so I see why she decided to seek action elsewhere. Our sex life was good but that's about it. I'm working 6 to 7 days a week most weeks. I have an addictive personality, and my business contractor doesn't seem like work, literally feels like therapy, so I guess you could say my life at home became very full and boring. Now I don't have a choice, I'm either going to drown in my sorrow or try my best to get back into my old routine. Marriage made me complacent like a mofo, she tried to communicate several times. But there's a big difference trying to communicate versus cheating and ultimately betrayal. I moved out of my own house because I couldn't breathe physically knowing my wife stepped out of our marriage. I just think about the day I found out. I was working a job about two hours away. And my heart sunk, I couldn't keep myself together, ran out the door at a client house and drove straight back home with my heart beating out of my chest. A lot of people recommend moving on, but I truly loved this woman with every bone in my body. It's just so insane to me to think I'm never going to see her again. It breaks my heart and brings tears to my eyes, not to mention the thought crippling my soul. Staying in hotel rooms first few nights by myself gave me a lot of time to think and it was the worst. Isolating in a small room with messed up thoughts. Half of me wants to reply half wants to block her and move on. I don't know. Her and her AP were caught so off guard. It blew up in both of their faces. Her AP is the CEO of the company. Owns a private hangar to fly exclusive families worth close to a billion dollars to their destination. Some of the clients caught wind of the situation and told AP he either ends the relationship or they will take business elsewhere as they're high-ranking owners of large corporate companies that need a pilot clear-headed transporting the owners and their guests. It's funny because her and her mom were legitimately pissed I told AP's wife because it's not my business to go and destroy another family. Thank God for this subreddit. Appreciate all the kind words. Honestly would probably still be going back and forth with her if it wasn't for everyone's input to stay strong. OP, the breakdown of your marriage wasn't solely your fault. Your wife bears full responsibility for choosing to betray you. Despite your efforts to build your business, she opted for infidelity instead of open communication. Her actions were selfish, seeking validation from another man. Her friends supporting her cheating reflects poorly on their character. 
cut off contact with your unremorseful wife, let legal professionals handle the divorce, and focus on your healing and life after separation. Good luck and stay strong. I'll try to paint a summary of our story. I had been with my wife for 9 years, 5.5 of those being married. We found each other on a dating site late 2014 and went on our first date in early January 2015. I was immediately smitten with her. We stayed together as she took two overseas study abroad opportunities, finished getting her doctorate degree, and then started applying for positions. By this time, I had already decided she was the one I wanted to be with, and decided to move where she'd get her position. She was only applying locally, within one hour driving distance from where we were, so not a drastic move. Long story short, we moved a total three times, progressively getting further and further away. During this time, we got married and her father, who was battling cancer, took a turn for the worse and passed away. We always wanted to move back to the town we loved and where we both went to school. It was a vibrant college town, with a lively community, great restaurants, bike paths, and rapidly growing. At this point we were living two hours away. She finally got to transfer to the city next to the town we loved and we finally could move. We moved in with our parents, switching between my parents' home and her mom's home. We lucked out and found a fantastic home, right on the bike path in the town. The owners were moving to another state soon and needed to sell quickly. Everything worked out. We moved into the town we loved with our puppy and finally made it to the town we loved and it's been almost two years, but things have started arising. She's been upset with me, fairly so, with my ability to articulate my thoughts and my less than perfect communication style. I've tried to be better, but sometimes I don't realize I'm even falling short. I also fell short in a number of other areas, such as not getting as excited as I should have been for things she was excited about. I wanted to preface this with making it clear that I wasn't being the best husband, and I wanted to acknowledge that. She's struggled with depression and anxiety for as long as I've known her, especially early on and when her father was sick and passing away. She'd always go through these, what I call auras of sadness where she just gets down and says down things but can't explain why she's feeling down all the time, it just happens. She's then been telling me she's unhappy with some things about me. Sometimes I thought these were just these auras, but I should have been more attentive about these. Sometimes I felt defensive, as a lot of times these came across as everything going wrong with us is because of you to me. I want to add that this negativity was in no way an everyday thing, and these arguments or pessimistic subject matters were not our entire relationship. Many of our days were filled with fun, and laughing and doing fun things around town we loved and sharing some hobbies we shared. We split tasks around the house and always handled things that came our way together. We had a set budget for things that we stuck to or came in below budget, and trusted each other with our money. She's always had a bit of a problem making friends. She's always been best friends with her parents, but outside of them and her brother, she hasn't really had a close friend since I've known her. She's been having a rough time at work and I've been urging her to try to make a friend there. She ended up getting along with someone at work who had some similar interests, as her, video games, hiking, fantasy, etc. I was happy she made a friend. She was saying how he'd bring his Switch and they'd play games on lunch. We played games online with him and I even invited him to play DND with a campaign I was about to run. She didn't seem to be hiding anything in particular, and I don't think anything was going on. She seemed open with me about it all. She even asked if it was okay if they ate lunch together sometimes, which didn't really bother me. I had work friends after all too. Then she asked one day if it was fine if they went on a hike on her day off. I didn't want to be a controlling person that didn't allow her to have friends just because they were a male, so I said it's fine. I didn't feel particularly bad about it. I completely trusted her. The next night was her company Christmas social hour, being held at a local bar near her work. The company was paying for it, so it was only for the staff, no plus ones. I was bummed because I wanted to meet a lot of these co-workers she complained to me about all the time but I wasn't particularly worried. This part is important, because my wife is very adamant about going to bed by a certain time. She can't play DND with one of my groups because it gets over at 11 p.m. She's typically in bed by 10 p.m. every night, and asleep before 11. I was waiting for her to get home, and the time crept from 9 to 10, 11, 12. At this point, the bar was closing, so I was surprised she closed down the bar, but I know how office parties can get. Figured she'd be home around 1 then. Then 2, 3, 4. I started getting worried. I am woken up by her getting home at 5 am. I asked what happened and she said she wasn't okay to drive home, so she sobered up in her car, and just talked with her friend until she felt okay to drive. It was 5 am, I accepted the answer. The next day we had a Christmas party, 
but she seemed distant and quiet on the drive. She said it was because she was so tired from not getting enough sleep. All right, the next day, she was leaving on a five-day mini road trip with her brother. Before he picked her up, I had a quick talk to her and said that I just didn't feel comfortable with her spending so much time with him anymore and talking to him so much. She said that's fair, I understand. And that was that, she went on her road trip. At this point I was suspicious. When she came back, she still seemed distant and off. I asked her what was wrong and she said she's just tired. But, I didn't accept that answer anymore. She said she'd tell me after Christmas. When I asked why is that matter, she said she didn't want to ruin Christmas. That set off alarm bells. I told her that I couldn't wait until after Christmas knowing that it was a big enough deal that she feels that it had ruined Christmas for me. She told me of all the things that were making her unhappy with me and my shortcomings and all that. These were mostly all valid complaints, by the way. She told me that she's held out for long enough and that she wants a divorce. It was really eye-opening and hit me like a truck. I felt how serious she was and I acknowledged all she was saying and wanted to try to reconcile and fix the things I was doing wrong. Then she said that there was one more thing. That she cheated on me that night she was out until 5am in the car with her friend. Who I found out was also married and also the day before on the hike. On the hike there was just kissing and some touching, but in the car the next night there was far more. I was willing to work past it and reconcile to save our marriage because I really loved her and wanted to stay with her. Over the holidays we went to all the parties and family get-togethers, and for that week I tried to make my case. She was considering both options, but eventually ended with her staying with her initial response to leave me. I was wondering if this had anything to do with that coworker, and she said she tried to make this decision without considering him as a factor, and that she's been unhappy for a while. She did say that she couldn't really bring herself to split with me ever, but this coworker was the trigger to make her do it. Now, I've moved back in with my parents and we are working on officially splitting and divorcing, and having a miserable time. I lost the home I loved in the town I loved. I don't get to see my puppy, we agreed to trade him every week, and my living situation is not ideal. I am also dreadfully lonely. I talk to her every day, all day while at work, and I hung out with her and talked to her every night. Now, when we text, it's not playful or affectionate. It's just lifeless and soulless. She was my rock when I had issues or was sad, and I lost that. I don't have anyone that can fill that hole she left. What's worse, is normally she'd message me back in a timely fashion. But lately, in the evenings, it's been complete silence, with message not even being seen by her. This is the same feeling I had that night she was out until 5am, and the only other time she's ever ghosted me for hours. It's may not be right, but I am assuming he's with her, and it's eating me up inside. We've only been living apart for 5 nights now, so to think he's already there, in my house with her, so soon is hurtful. At the end of the day, while I'm hurt by that, I also feel regret about not doing enough soon enough to be better. None of this would be happening if I had just been less selfish or stubborn and tried harder. Sorry for the story, I wanted to make sure I touched on the timeline. OP, relationships often face challenges with communication. Prioritize your own needs. Her actions have no justifications. Initiate no contact and consult with a legal professional. Also identify who the other person is and inform his spouse. Consider hiring a private investigator and avoid assuming that being kind will lead to any personal gains. Good luck and stay strong. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you really like my videos then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.